gather round the shoveled ones and welcome to a the shoveled blonde buy as i told you guys back in my haul video um i uh been wanting to do a video um called blonde buys or called something i don't know what i wanted to call it but you know i buy so many of these movies and never have seen the movies um and uh i, I just buy them some of them are good some of them not not as much uh so back in november uh seven films had the uh black friday thing going on and they had uh this movie uh and uh i bought it and it has been sitting around waiting and waiting for me to quit procrastinating well guys trent texted me and said that this video needed to happen. So guess what? The video is happening. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's see. Um, you can see here, uh, December 3rd is when they, uh, they sent it out to me. A couple days later, it got, it got here. And it has been sitting on the table, just, just, just begging me, begging me to open it so guess what we're gonna open it what i'm gonna do since this is a blonde buy and uh it's gonna kind of do i'm gonna watch the movie and then uh then i'm gonna give a little a little review uh never seen it obviously hence blonde buys um The cast is very interesting because I love Ted Raimi. I love Seth Green. I love uh, Jeffrey Combs. So, what the fuck? Why, why, why not? Uh, if this is from uh, 2000. So, this edition should have the uh soundtrack i am a sucker for those soundtracks i love getting movies uh with soundtracks in them that's why i miss the uh the old grindhouse uh blu-ray sets like uh well i got the beyond and pieces and uh, uh damn i think it may be the only ones uh, i have because I, I, I never got a uh, cannibal holocaust on uh on Blu-ray, the Grindhouse releases, but they they would come with the uh, the uh, the soundtracks, and I love that. And that's what pisses me off about that Dawn of the Dead box set, the the very sexy box set that uh, Second Sight put out. Uh, the, that limited edition had the uh, the uh, the soundtrack. So. It didn't win. I got it off, y'all. <laughs> when I was younger, I would try to keep these things intact, and I would stick them everywhere. If, if you knew me, you know uh, I'd get I'd get a, a CD and you know pop it in uh, in my car. But I would always peel that off and try to save it. Like I'd put it on the dash or try to put it on. Why the fuck did I do that? I have no idea. It, it pissed Jamie off. She was, oh well. There's uh something that came flying out of there yeah that was the blu-ray disc that was not secure in there i'm sure it's gonna be fun all right and this is what we got this is the disc got the blu-ray and then the uh the compact disc soundtrack and um got the card Cool, cool. All right. So, I'm going to watch it, and then I'll, I'll do a follow-up review, and I'll let you guys know, do I regret buying this, or do I not? Let's find out.
Wow. Mmm. Wow. So, for my first blind buy video for the channel, I went with the, the Attic Expeditions. And, um, I, I, I tell you what, um, I, I, I really don't know what the fuck I just watched. I mean, the storyline was so fucking weird. Now, here, here, here's some things about it. I like, I like shit like, like about books, like, like, uh, call it like the Necronomicon or I, they don't call it that in this movie, but you know, that kind of thing. I dig that kind of shit. When that shit is in uh, my fiction, when that shit's in my fucking movies, I fucking dig it. So, you know what? In this movie, I dug that aspect. I also dug the, um, the, the insanity aspect. That was good. The fucking acting, fucking seeing Alice Cooper in there. You know, granted it was like a fucking Ozzy Osbourne and fucking uh, Trigger Treat fucking cameo. I mean, just barely see Alice in him. But you got to see Alice come in and, you know, throw in a little acting. And that was, that was good. Uh, getting to see um, J Jeffrey Combs and uh, Ted Raimi sharing the screen there together. That was fucking good. Just seeing them act off each other is uh, is uh, is fucking amazing. I love that. Uh, and and you know what else? This movie, I I can't wait to get on that couch with uh, with Trent, with Joe, with Eric. You know, so, some of my buddies that we watch shit like this together. I can't wait to fucking do that with this because this is going to be one of those movies that just you know. It's gonna be. It's definitely a movie that you're gonna watch more than once. You're not just gonna watch this movie. This is not gonna be the only time I watch this movie and I'm fucking done with it. No, this movie is gonna be. You know, I, and you know what? Also, I know I'm all over the place, guys, but this movie, I, I think I'll get more out of it after a second viewing and after a third viewing. Uh, so, uh, the the question is. Uh, uh, do I regret buying it? I do not regret buying this blind buy. I do not regret it at all. Uh, do I understand what the fuck I just watched? I, d I don't. But that's okay. Because, uh, like I said, there's plenty to like. The fucking acting. The uh, fucking... Oh! Oh! Fucking Seth Green's acting is fucking amazing. The guy from fucking uh, 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 Not More Elm Street Four, he was fucking good. I mean, the, the movie, the movie, uh, there's scenes in it. I, I fucking love some of the scenes in it and some shit going on. God, I'm uh, I'm as all over the place on this review as this movie is. So there, they uh, they'll tell you something too. Um, have you guys watched this movie? Uh, let me know down in the comments, you know. Uh, have you watched it? Uh, Severn, Severn done a good job. Uh, you got a couple, maybe uh, three, um, three bonus features here. Um, you got uh, uh, Alice Cooper and Jeffrey Combs' uh, internet reunion. Uh, these these special features were filmed during the pandemic of 2020, and uh, they actually did a good job with these uh, uh, um, f features. Uh, I've seen I've seen some, and it's just like Neh. they actually done a pretty good job. Uh, actually, uh, there is a reunion that has a, a bunch of them there, and it's 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 about a 40 minute piece. You know, a lot of Zoom calls going in, but you know, interspliced with some like you know, uh, the directors like original f uh, films and you know s shit like that. Uh, very fun watch, and I wish I had a copy of that fucking Bon Jovi musical that they talk about on there. I actually showed some fucking scenes on that. That was fucking cool. So, all in all, this is a good buy. I do not regret it at all, man. I do not regret it at all.
All right. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, give, a, give us a like. Make sure you're subscribed. And uh, if you like these blind buys, man, I've bought so many things that, you know, it's considered a blind buy. I'll fucking do another one for you. Just, just let me know down in the comments you like this kind of shit. And I can't even fucking say comments right now. But let me know down there. And uh, as always, stay spooky.